Good morning, baseball fans, and welcome to a exclusive M&B broadcasting production. We are out here in the middle of the cow pasture watching youth baseball. We are doing a Nooksack Valley youth baseball game against the Mudcats from Bellingham. We've got the young Woodrich on the mound, and he throws for ball one high. Told you last night on our broadcast out of LC that we we're going to try to do some different things, some special things. So we're going to try to do some stuff here throughout. Strike one on a swing and a miss. This is, what is this, Jerry, 13U? 12U. 13U inside for ball one. Two balls, one strike. Everybody can grab this off our YouTube strike, swing and a miss. Can grab this off of our YouTube channel, MB Broadcasting. Just look it up. You'll see all of the different things that we do, the stuff we do with Bellingham High School Bayhawks. Foul ball straight back. Peterson at the plate. I like they've got their names in the backs of their jerseys. Swing and a miss, strike three. Lucas Woodridge with a strikeout, number one. Beautiful park here behind the middle school at Nooksack Middle School. Braden McFarland up to bat. Ball outside. We'll run through the Nooksack infield, maybe the second inning. We're Ball outside. We're just getting our stuff together. We've never done this like this. Uh, Brock, the amazing producer, went out and bought a battery pack in the middle of the morning to try to get this thing to happen. Coach Woodridge wanted us to do it, so we thought we'd come out. That's a foul ball, and that's going to be a... Lewis Autoglass foul ball moment. That foul ball is brought to you by Lewis Autoglass, Bellingham, Mount Vernon, and Burlington, or, or Linden. Ball high in McFarland's eyes. Got a little, got away from the Woodridge kid a little bit. <clears throat> Lucas is kind of rushing out there. First game jitters, I got to say, these guys got to be jacked up. This is the first game of the season. Ball, and that's ball four. McFarland walks, gives his fellas on the dugout a little bit of love. One thing that we have here that we don't have in high school is these guys are pumped up. They're on the fence. They're cheering. They're yelling and screaming. Finn Small, and he is anything from but small. He is a big fella, number one. Finn Small. He fouls that one straight back. Umpires for today's game are questionable at best. Swing and a miss by Small. First strike, two. We've got the elder Hardward behind the plate. And we've got the younger Harward on the bases. High fly ball, left field. Left fielder makes a big run. Foul ball. foul ball. Best call he's made all day. Foul ball. Four strike two. But he got all of that one. So if you're a pitcher, you're taking a look at what kind of things do I got to work with. I'm telling you, don't throw that ball in that guy's wheelhouse because he's going to take it off the fence. One ball, two strikes. Ball high. Ball. There we go. Foul ball. Oh, and that could be in the swamp. No ball. No ball shaggers. Huh? There goes a the dad. Oh, there goes a the kid. All right. Got all sorts of kids around here. Hey, let me just tell you, if you're out there, you want to support a little league anywhere you're around because it's the greatest baseball in town. Swing and a miss. Strike three.
Good call by the umpire. That batter's out on the drop, third strike. Occupied first base, even though he stole. Runner's now on second. I guess I should be doing my job over here, huh, Brock? And at the turn, I can't see it. Wills? Tarek Willie. Tarek Wills. Strike one, swing and a miss. We'll get it down. We've got a we've got a guest in our broadcast booth today helping helping my producer today. We don't know any of these guys' names, so it's tough just to come on the dry side. Foul ball right side. Could be out of play. Yep. That lands in the swamp as well. Gonna go through a lot of baseballs here. High dollar league. No balls, two strikes. Hey, we hope that uh Taz in Tennessee yesterday had a great game. Swing and a miss, strike three. Great pitch right there. That's three up. Three down. No runs on no hits. There was no Nooksack errors. And after a half an inning, it's the Mudcats nothing. And the Nooksack Valley Pioneers coming to the plate. I'll be right back. Welcome back, Uncle Mike here, live in the very far parts of the outfield of Nooksack Valley Middle School. Doing something we've never done before as MMB Broadcasting. This is kind of what we want to do. We want to broadcast local games, high school, youth sports. This is what we'd really like to try to get ourselves into. Right now, if you haven't followed us, follow us, MMB Broadcasting, on a local YouTube channel near you. That catcher is going to be a bag of walnuts by the time today's over. He's taken three in the dirt. Really appreciate the volunteer coaches, the guys that put together the whole programs and work this stuff. If it wasn't for them, these young guys would be out there breaking your car windows, and you'd have to go to Lewis Auto Glass to get that fixed. Jerry, you can talk all you'd like. They just can't hear you. I can hear you. I can. I always repeat. <laughs> he could be. He could be live. You'd be my first. Uh... Ridge Bob. Ridge Bob. Caleb Ridge Bob is going to be our leadoff guy for Nooksack. He's a left-handed hitter. Where's numbers? Oh, Luke Bartle. Yeah, Luke Bartle down the third baseline foul ball. There you go. That's hey. He's not the best. He's not the best color guy in the business for nothing. I'll just tell you that. That Jared Rickner because he has got the wrong name right off the bat. <laughs> right out of the gate. That's it. That's all right. Bartle, no balls, one strike. Yep. Hard cut right back. Oh, and the pitcher gobbles it up and throws him out. Gills, it looks like Gillard, is the pitcher. Coming to the plate, the birthday guy, third baseman, number 19, not Calvin anymore, Cal, Cal Rickner. Had his 13th birthday yesterday, young guy. Lucky he's even here. Ball low. This Gills kid is throwing some BBs. <laughs> we might want to check his birth certificate. He might be a little older than 13. Deep breath by the pitcher. He rocks and fires. Ball low. Two balls and no strikes. Cal is 
left-handed. Bats left, throws right. Oh, that was a steamer right past Coach, Coach Woodrich. Two balls and one strike. Gills gets ready. He rocks and fires. Ball inside low. Good strike zone right there by the young umpire behind the plate. We will be evaluating his skills as well, and I'd like to have your comments. <laughs> the 3-1 pitch. Ball four. He's going to take first base. Yeah, he thought that that was going to be a strike because in most situations, those umpires call that above the hands of strike, but that's a great strike zone right there because you're not, you're not calling that. Here's the pitcher, Lucas Woodrich, and he's a specimen for 13. Outside, gets by the catcher. Rickner is going to motor as fast as he can down to second base, and he's safe standing up. No throw. Stolen base by the young Rickner. Lucas Woodridge could pound one deeply over that right fielder's head. Swing and a miss outside pitch. Luke's going after it. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Lucas is an all-sport athlete. Strike two. Nice little curveball there. A little change of pace pitch. That might have been a changeup. In the dirt. Gets away. Oh, there goes Rickner. He's going to try to go to third. He's motored as fast as he can. Throw down. Saved. Great wheels by little Rickner. He had every type of motorization going. His feet were moving, his hands were moving, his hips were moving, his shoulders were moving, and he slides safely into third. Great hustle by Cal Rickner. Woodrich is ready. Gills throws in the dirt. This will be a challenge for Cal to see if he's going to go ahead. Not a lot of distance there behind home plate, but Cal's got some wheels, and he has showed you what he's got. Lucas right here, base hit, scores a run. Ooh, strike three called. Looking. Brings to the plate number 24, Taylor James, right-handed young fella. Strike. Ooh, this Gills kid's throwing some heat. Got himself a little off-speed pitch, a little fastball. Now, these Mudcats are all county guys, right, Jared? Yeah. Oh, ball hit to the right side. That's going to be a base hit. Oh, it does. It falls. That's a base hit. Scores a run. RBI single for Taylor James. Nice job by that young fella. one nothing Nooksack. There you go, Taylor. Okay. No, that's all good. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Especially when the fellas come to the plate. The brother gets excited. Who's this? A.J. Oh. A.J. Woodrich. All right. James, a fairly good lead at first. Swing and a miss by Woodrich. Oh, catcher throws down to first base. Running a little of that backdoor play. First baseman trying to figure out how to cover that bag. It's always good to watch these young guys. Swing and a miss by... Woodrich. Got the Woodrich cousins on this team. That always makes it fun to make it a family affair. Nice job, bub. There you go. Give me a little. Boom. Sitting right here next to the dugout. We might have a couple interviews here before the game's over. Ah, well, it's okay. It's a, it's a, it's a, YouTube, it's a YouTube channel. It's a YouTube channel. I, it, I always give the disclaimer. This is an MMV broadcasting production. We are not affiliated with Nooksack Valley. Ground ball hit hard to the shortstop. He kind of pulls it up off the ground. Long throw over. They get Woodridge at first base for out number three. But not before the Nooksack Valley Pioneers score one run on one hit. There was no Mudcat errors, and there was one runner left on base. 
after one complete. It's Nooksack Valley one, the Mudcats nothing. I'll be right back. Welcome back to an MB Broadcasting Special Saturday morning at the ballpark. We're live at Nooksack Valley Middle School. We're watching the Nooksack Valley Boys 13U against the Mudcats from Bellingham, Ferndale, kind of the west side of the county. It's one nothing Nooksack. Uncle Mike here with my counterpart. Sidekick Brock. Strike one called on me. And today we've got a special guest in the box with us. We've got uh, our spotter, as we have in the NFL and college football. Uncle Jared is swinging a miss. Foul tip off the umpire. I like that. No, no balls, two strikes. That's one thing I like about that umpire is he's good and loud. And I can always... He might, he might he might have his eyes closed. We'll ask him. Ball one. Swing and miss for strike three on Neem. Okay. Sounds like I'm running a little walk-up music for this young fellow. Strike called. Harper is at the plate. Left-handed batter. Jake. Jace. 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 There we go. Popped up left side. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes on the batter. Come on, brother. I like that. Ball outside. Sketch has become famous. I'll just tell you. Everybody talks like he does. Ball outside, three balls, two strikes. <clears throat> Count is large right here. Lucas has got to bend over, come strong. There we go. Foul ball, needs right on it though. I always like to watch Little League outfielders. Ball four gets away. Harper, he's down to first. Gonzalez steps to the plate. 
Harper's on first. He's got a pretty good lead. Swing and a miss. Mr. Gonzalez at the plate. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike two. Good pitch right there. That's all Lucas has got to do is bend over a little bit, get himself out of that hole right there in front, get himself set. Runner goes, high pitch, ball one. Long double clutch by the catcher. Safe at first. Can you say at second? Thank you very much. Nice job. See, that's you're doing your job now. That's what a spotter does. Everybody goes, well, what, what does a spotter do? A spotter just makes sure I just keep my foot out of my mouth. High again, gets away. Runner's going to run to third. Rickner's there ready, makes the stop. Good stop right there. There we go. Two balls and two strikes. Gonzalez will swing at that fastball. Strike three, and he didn't. Boy, I thought he was going to swing at that fastball. Good pitch right there by Woodrich for out number one. Two. There we go. I don't even have a scoreboard to blame it on now. Von Durrell, number 22. Bowling. Swing and a miss. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Strikes out the side. No runs on no hits. No Nooksack errors. And after one and a half, it's still the Nooksack Valley Pioneers one. But my cat's nothing. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Nooksack Valley Middle School. It's Uncle Mike live in the sunshine. What a beautiful morning. Weatherman has said that it's going to rain this afternoon, so we got to get into this. Ellsbury, is that what you said, Jared? Ellsbury. Josh Ellsbury. Outside, ball one on Josh. Is back in the back back part of the box, looking for that fastball back there. Ooh, and it got Josh right in the arm. That's why you want to keep both hands on the bat. You just want to inward turn your body a little bit so it doesn't hit you right there in the bony part of your forearm. Jake Van Mittendorf. More with the what? <laughs> One more with a P. Okay, runner on first base for Nooksack. Hit by pitch. Oh, makes it close. Umpire doesn't move much from that spot right there. He's kind of stuck right there. He's making sure he's looking good, though, because he does. He looks very, very well. Collar's kind of bothering him, though, in that jacket. 
hops off the front of the plate, gets past the catcher, and that young man's got a lot of speed. And, of course, because he knows that he wants his folks to wash his clothes tonight, he slides into second base. I'm really having a, we might have to put a camera on Uncle Jared here to try to get this bag of seeds open. <laughs> Ball low. That's good. Put him on the air when he does that. You put, push that button. Brock's producing a heck of a, oh, and I'm not kidding you folks. We're out here in the middle of, uh, I mean, a field. Uh, it's not a cow pasture for real. It's a, high, it's a middle school field, and Brock has got power. He brought it together today. Wizard of Westwick right here. Wind and throw inside for ball. Three balls, one strike. Wind is starting to pick up. It's going to be at our back. These headphones that we have, though, they don't pick up much. Oh, little dribbler back to the pitcher. Pitcher bobbles it, stabs at it, grabs a hold of it, gets the runner at first base, but moves over the runner to third. Taylor, red job. Jake with a... Jake dribbles one back to the pitcher, moves the runner to third, got a runner at third base with one out. In the dirt. Okay, and I, I'm going to ask, hey, Lonnie, you got a time on that opening? <laughs> One ball in the dirt. Uncle Jared was down here trying to figure out how to open a bag of David's sunflower seeds. They are not a sponsor of the show. So. <laughs> Three batters, ball in the dirt, two balls and no strikes. Good lead at third. Always making sure you're staying foul, coming back in the fair territory. and fire outside ball to be a today's a good test right here for big red to see how well he can hold up bending over underneath those young guys rock and fire strike call that was a good pitch yeah even the batter agrees with the umpire's call and that doesn't happen very often Swing and a miss, strike two. Good cut. If we automatically start going off the air, it's because we've got too much draw on our battery. <laughs> Just had to plug in a computer. Oh, we've only, we've only lost a little bit. Inside. We might not be able to do game two. We'll do game one. Oh, we're good. We're good, he says. Yeah. Side Daryl Lottenbach coming up, number 74. Good number. Ball, runner goes. Runner's coming home. Going to be a play at the plate. Safe. That scores a run. Time called by the umpire. Authority. Yeah, sweeping that plate with authority. Two to nothing, Nooksack. Right, called. Good pitch right there. Excuse me, swing. Excuse me. One ball, two strikes. Size, a big drink of water. He gets a hold of one. It's going to drive, drive, drive right up there to that varsity or that baseball field that's on the other side. Oh, swing and a miss. Strike three. Runner's going to come in and score. Jake Woodridge.
ball in the dirt. That's one of the toughest things for these young guys to learn is on that drop third strike when first base is not occupied is to go ahead and run to first. He would have been safe at first because they would have been afraid of that runner at third. Ball in the dirt. But instead, he walks back to the dugout, walks out of play, and the umpire calls him out. Yeah, that's definitely something that needs to be addressed. You're exactly right. Uncle Jared said, since you can't hear him out there in radio and TV land, he said you got to work on that at practice. And you're exactly right. That's something that you got to work on. <clears throat> you also got to watch a little bit of baseball and know what happens. Hard hit ball in the hole on the left side. That's going to get to the left fielder. That's going to get by the left fielder. Woodridge is going to... Come around second. He's going to go to third. He's got a long stride. That's a big ring of water right there. And he stands up at third base with a triple. Nice job by the. <laughs> we, we're back to the top of the order. Luke Bartle comes to the plate. Got yourself a runner at third. Bartle's ready. Oh, hard hit. Ball to the shortstop. Shortstop makes a great stab. He's coming home with it. No, they throw it to home. Catcher doesn't make the catch. Umpire calls him safe. Goes down to second base. They tag the runner at second for out. For out number. For out number three. Good throw by the catcher down to second base. Good tag. Umpire was there to make the call. Yep. Got a little greedy. Don't want to be moving around too much. It's definitely what they call it Little League. Four. Run. Run counted. Yep. Okay. They're exactly right. So for Nooksack, there was two runs on two hits. There was no Mudcat errors. There was no, no runners left on base because he was thrown out. After, what are we in? After two complete, it's Nooksack four. Mudcats nothing. We'll be right back. This is the pitcher, Cameron Gillig, coming to the plate. Welcome back, Uncle Mike here with Brock and Uncle Jared. We got the uncles here, and we are watching baseball in the sunshine. And I have to tell you, it doesn't look like anything else is going to happen today. Gillig, the pitcher's up. High pitch by Woodrich. Okay. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Hard foul ball. Up into the screen. One ball, one strike. Hey, I know everybody was sad yesterday about not having any Mariner games on because it was rained out. Might be rained out today. So make sure you watch us. You can watch us on repeat. Make sure you like us. Strike called at the knees. You can make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the MMB Broadcasting channel. Swing and a miss, strike three for out number one. Share it with your grandparents, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters. Make sure you like us. m and Broadcasting brings the plate. Andrew Robbins, umpires calling timeout, letting the batter get on the other side. 
one of the things about Little League Baseball, you got to allow the guys to get around. They always bat behind the batter on the on-deck circle. So he went. One ball, one strike. In the ear hole. Got the bat. Hit by pitch. Good come by the umpire. I thought it was a foul ball. Got him in the helmet. Runners going on the pitch. Great throw. Oh, no. Gets by the shortstop in the center field. Runners safe at second. Ball low. This is why you just never worry about a run count. Kind of like last night, the Bellingham LC game. There wasn't enough runs to keep the leading team ahead the entire time. Swing and a miss. Strike. Good pitch right there by Lucas. Well, one ball, one strike. We got Jesse Robbins at the plate right now. Shortstop is creeping in behind the base runner at second. Lucas runs and throws. There he goes. Throw down. To, oh, it's over Rickner's head. Goes into left field, but great backup by the left fielder. That looks like a Woodridge kid out there. Runners at third. Moves around on two stolen bases. Two balls, one strike. Ball. Three balls and one strike. I might be broadcasting. We'll schedule some tournament games, some championship games. We're going to do some different things here, I think, for Little League this year. Ball in the dirt. Runner does not go. I was a little ahead of myself there. I think it's 3 1 now. Well, 3 and 2. Which one? Ball four. Runners on the corners. One away. Right called. No balls, one strike. Runners at second and third. Swing and a miss, strike two. No balls, two strikes. High pitch to Evan. One ball, two strikes. Beautiful day. We're excited to be out here today. Got to get up out of bed, get going. Ball low. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know it was short notice. We didn't send out a blast. I'm sure hoping we got uh, Mama watching in Acme. Ball outside. Three balls, two strikes. One out, runners at second and third. Lucas is ready, rocks and fires. Good pitch, strike three. Yeah, that was a good pitch right there. Two outs. Big Red gives the timing play to Joe, and he don't know what he's doing. Strike called. Nice job. Sunshine! Sunshine at the plate. Foul away. No balls, two strikes, ahead of the count. Only been that way a couple times in this ball game. Tell me what movie that's from. Sunshine. Ball outside. Type it in the comment section down there if you know. We'll send you 
one of Uncle Jared's David Sunflower Seeds, who is not a sponsor of the program. Ron, fire in and out of the glove for a ball. Two's across the board, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Lucas, Lucas, high pitch, three balls, two strikes. Left my morning coffee on top of the truck and drove down Highway 9 with it for a little while. Made the first corner. Strike three called for out number three. No runs on no hits. No Nooksack errors. One runner left on base after two and a half. It's Nooksack four. Mudcats black zero. Uncle Mike will be right back. Welcome back to Nooksack Middle School. Uncle Mike Brock and Uncle Jerry here today bringing you a live baseball action. 13U, Cal Rickner up, ball outside, walked his last time. Ball one. One ball, no strikes on Cal. Ball inside, right off of his shoelaces. Gets out his nine iron. On base percentage is high right now. He's at a thousand percent. Wind and throw outside. He's he's pitching around Cal today. Three balls, no strikes. Pitcher rocks and fires in the dirt for ball four. Four straight balls to Cal. They know that, that guy, and he's a speed demon. We saw he got two stolen bases the last time he was on the base pass. Brings up the pitcher, Lucas Woodrich. Puts him up, picks him up, puts him down. Wind and fire high for a ball. Ooh, Rick was thinking about going. He got himself back to first base. He thought about it for a second. Making a close play over there at first. I'd like to see that base umpire have to ring him up, see what happened. Strike called. Big, big lead over there at first base. Lucas is ready. Pitcher's ready, gets a sign and rocks and fires. Ooh, that was high. There goes Woodridge. I mean, there goes Rickner. I'm looking at Woodridge at the plate, and Rickner's running down to second base. Pass ball. Swing and a miss, strike two. High pitch, protecting the runner. That's what he was doing. <laughs> protecting the runner. No, no, he doesn't like to have to make his mom or dad wash those pants. Popped up in the infield. First baseman's lost it. He can't find it. He makes the catch. Holy cow. That was tough. He was battling the sun like nobody's business right there. With one out, Cal Rickner at first, second base, brings the plate Taylor James. Here 
in the dirt, bounces off the plate. And there goes Rick, gets down there. Nice job, Cal. Cal standing on third again. He is a threat today. You don't have to hit the ball in this league. And, and it's all about running, you know. It's all about getting to the next base and scoring runs. Taylor James is ready. Tries to throw him a little bit of a hook, curveball. Two balls. No strikes on Taylor. Taylor, get a hold of one. It's going to go. Great fastball right there, right down Main Street. Two balls, one strike. Good lead to third by Cal. Swing and a miss by James. 2-2. Two -two. Good swing right there. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the curveball for strike three. And that's out number two. A.J. Woodridge steps to the dish. Rock and fire high in the eyes of Woodridge for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, he threw that pretty hard right there. You're exactly right. Uncle Jerry says he's got plenty of gas in that tank. Ball in the dirt. Cal's going to make it. Oh, he, he gave a good head fake right there. He gave a great head fake right there. He, he thought he was coming. He was he was making it look like he was going. He was protecting the batter there. <laughs> Not going to take the bat out of the batter's hands. He's going to let Woodridge hit. AJ's back in the box. Two balls, no strikes. Rock and fire. Swing and a miss. Good cut right there. Drop down a little bit. Got to keep his hands up. Nice job. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Bottom of the third inning. There's a ground ball out, and that's going to be a base hit through the right side. Woodridge turns around first, scores a run. RBI right there. Wood, Woodridge at first. Rickner scores, makes it five to nothing. Josh Ellsbury's at the plate, ball one. AJ's at second, at first. Ooh, and that hit him again. He is a ball magnet. We got one of those. We got one of those in the high school level. He got hit three times in the last two ball games. <laughs> no charge in the mound at 13. Josh gets over to first base by another hit by pitch. One in the wrist and one in the left butt cheek right there. We're gonna put him on first. First and second. Two-out two out rally. Boy, those Bayhawks had a big two-out rally yesterday. Whew. In that third inning. Got them going. Jake Van Mittendorf. Puh. Van Mittendorf. Van Mittendorf. There we go. We get it right. We get it right. Sorry, Jake. When you watch when you watch this this evening, big lead to the guys in, on the base pass, man. They're gonna throw down a third just for the fun of it. Make AJ go back. When you guys watch it tonight, just remember Uncle Mike did this flat. I mean, <laughs> no cheat sheets, no nothing. <laughs> I had to bring people out of the crowd to help me. Ball low. Stolen base, delayed steal. 0 2. Runners on third and second. Jake's ready. He's got a great body movement. In the dirt for ball. Ball three. Three balls and no strikes.
Runners, again, with great leads, especially at second. Ball four. Juices the bases. Caleb Ridgebaugh steps to the plate. With bases juiced, two outs, bottom of the third inning. Right here in Nooksack. Middle school, just off Main Street. Ball gets by. And he, oh, we're going to make a decision. We're coming to the plate. Yeah, slides under the tag. It was a high tag. Good call by the umpire there. Right now, I hate to say it, but the umpire is not, not messed up one time. Runners second and third. <laughs> Strike called. Good slide at home. Got your legs underneath that tag. Six nothing. I, I can't remember if I had another one here. Check. Ball outside. That's what, that's what Game Changer has. I just checked. Ball low. Gets by. Nobody's coming. Yeah, now he's coming. Now he's in trouble. He's out to. Coach Woodridge is yelling at him to get back. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. You got to keep awake here. This is a fast-moving game. <laughs> this is a fast-moving game right here. Uncle Mike's got to pay better attention. Full count. Strike three. Good pitch right there. Well, let me just tell you. For a nooksack. Three runs, three runs on two hits. No mudcat errors. Two runners left on, one runner left on base. After three complete, it's Nooksack six. Mudcats zero. Uncle Mike will be right back. Welcome back to Nooksack Middle School. Uncle Mike here, chit-chatting it up with the coaching staff. It's probably being close to the dugout. Peterson steps in for the Mudcats. The Mudcats black. Mudcats got a bunch of teams. This is the top of the order for the Mudcats. Top of the first inning, strike one called. Woodrich is still going strong. I don't know, Jerry, how many pitches can they throw here in 13U? 
Okay, all right. 75, okay. We'll check, and, we'll check and find out. I'm sure the umpire knows. Foul ball, <laughs> strike two. No balls, no balls, two strikes on the batter. No balls, two strikes on Peterson. Rock and fire ball gets by. One ball, two strikes. Somebody will listen to you, Jerry. Peterson steps in. Mr. Woodridge rocks and fires. Curve ball. That's going to be a fair ball. In comes the left fielder. One hops it. Base hit right there. Good piece of hitting. Runner at first, McFarland's up, pops it up. That's out of play, foul ball. First strike, one. No balls, one strike. That left a divot in the turf. Rock and fire inside. For a ball. Yeah, Pe Peterson's got some wheels. Brian's got a big last name on the back of his jersey. I like that. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Hmm? You got the hyphen, yeah. Yeah. Creates it bigger. Popped up. That could be trouble. Nobody's coming to get it. Center fielder's trying to get there. Falls in. That's a base hit. Runner's going to hold at second. They couldn't tell whether or not they're going to make the play or not make the play. That's a single. Two hits. Kind of hesitation. Mr. Small steps in against Mr. Woodridge with runners at second and first. Top of the fourth inning. Runners going. Ah, drops it. Ball called. Infield fly wiped off. I like that. Good. Runners move to second and third. On the drop. Pitch swing and a miss by small, and by and by no means was that a small swing. Okay, he had a great cut right there. He would have made contact with that if it was a little lower. That high pitch, it's tough to stay away from that. I'll tell you. Hard hit ball. That's jacked. That's over the left fielder's head. That's going to go all the way to the fence. That bounces off the fence. Small dripped that one. He's on second. Going to score two runs and two RBI double. Great hit right there by Mr. Small to put the Mudcats on the board. Mr. Small's got all of that high fastball, exactly what we were talking about, that first cut that he took. He was timing that up. Woodridge came, brought it down a little lower, right around the hands area, and he drove it to left field. Swing and a miss, strike one. Six to two, Nook Sack, top of the fifth inning. Wills is up. Runner at second. Foul ball. Foul ball. Good call. Good call by the plate umpire. No balls. Two strikes. Woodridge is ready. Big lead at second. There goes the runner at second. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Throw down a third. Good. Oh, got by the third baseman. Out of play. Ball's out of play. He's going to score. Makes it three. Struck him out, though. So one out. Nope, that's right. Sometimes you just got to let that go. And that's a young player move right there. Neem is up. Neem is up. 
Rays up, foul ball. Mudcats making a little rally here in the fourth inning. Like I said, when you're playing youth baseball, you got to have 100 runs, and that's still probably not enough. High for a ball. One ball, one strike, one out. Neem is up. Rock and fire by Woodridge. Foul ball. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. No, that was two outs right there, I think. Yep, he went. Strike called. No balls. One strike. Woodridge rocks and fires. Oh, hard hit ball. Left side again. That gets through. That, that's a base hit. Four hits this inning for the Mudcats. They're stringing them together. Gonzalez steps in. Lucas is ready. Rocks and fires. Oh, hard hit ball. That's going to fall for a hit number five. The hit parade is on display right now for the Mudcats. Two outs. Lucas has got to work his way out of this one. Run drill up. Swing and a miss. Strike. No ball, two strikes. Yeah, don't throw it around. Don't put any more quarters in the merry-go-round. Oh, yeah, Tomahawk chops that one. Center fielder's there. Makes the catch for out number three. Woo! That was a great play right there for out number three, but not before the Mudcats come up with five hits. They come up with three runs on five hits. No Nooksack Valley errors and one runner left on base. After three and a half, Mudcats made a chug, chug, chug right there, kind of pumping it up. Six to three, Nooksack. I'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Wow, what a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It has just been a gorgeous couple days. We got a new pitcher on the bump for the Mudcats. We got side Daryl Lautenbach coming to the plate for Nooksack here in the bottom of the fourth inning. What do we play, six or seven, Jerry? Uh, he's not the best color guy in the, in the business for nothing. <laughs> My favorite line from a movie, you got to figure out which movie that is. 
Catcher throws down to second base, and we're ready to start the bottom of the fourth inning. Mr. Lottenbach steps in. Rock and fire by the new arm on the bump and foul ball, strike one. Cy Darrell Lottenbach is Uncle, Uncle Jerry Fund. All right, you ask him. We'll plug it in the second in the second game. Inside for a ball. Now here's the situation in a lot of a lot of your youth programs. This is a tough position to be a pitcher. And I'll tell you, when you got a couple back-to-back -back games to find enough guys to throw strikes, it doesn't matter what league it is in. Right now, the Bayhawks, Bellingham Bayhawks, are struggling the same way. Strike, swing, and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes on side. Hit him. No. Didn't hit him. They're gonna give him, they're gonna give it, said it hit him. Hit by pitch. On deck, I better get that bat. There we go. Jake Woodrich steps to the plate, number 99. Be number 99 in your back, number one in your heart. Ball one, high. Pitcher's got himself a couple different moves there at, on the on the rubber. Let me just see if our umpire picks up on anything here. Is this? Long throw, runner safe. Safe at second on a stolen base. Yeah, you're right. It, yeah, Joe's talking to him right now about. The dirt for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Ron Bach, second. Fairly good lead at second. Ball gets by. Oh, oh he's trying to. Oh, he's, he was he was going to go, and then he stopped. Then he's going to go again. Luke Bartle. Swing and a miss, strike one, Luke Bartle. Runners at second and first. Umpire's trying to instruct the young pitcher about his move. Got to keep those shoulders straight. Oh, he throws to first base. And Woodridge gets back safely, laying in the dirt. One ball, no, or one strike. No balls, one strike on Bartle. Swing and miss, foul ball for strike two. No balls, two strikes. Hard hit ball back up the middle. Gonna have to make a play. Second baseman steps on and grabs it. Out at second. Moves the runner to third. Okay, first and third situation. 
Cal Rickner steps the dish. Ball. Bad throw back to the pitcher. Throw comes home. Ooh, got him out at home. One ball. One ball, no strikes. Good hit by Rick. Second base. Got him safe. Go. Oh, got Calvin at second. No runs off of one hit. No Mudcat errors. One runner left on base. After four complete, 6-3, Nooksack. Uncle Mike will be right back. Welcome back, Uncle Mike here with a band of gypsies with me. I got Brock taking care of the board and Uncle Jared's taking care of the lineup cards. So we got ourselves a team today. Young Woodrich is still on the bump and he is throwing a great ball game. Six to three Nooksack. Gillig comes up. He is the pitcher of record. Strike called. And what that means when I say that is he's the pitcher with the win or the loss right now because of the way the scoring was. Just like Mr. Woodridge is the pitcher of record for Nooksack. In front of the plate, bounces, ball one. One ball, one strike. Top of five. These are one hour and 50 minute time limit ball games or six innings. Or as we'd say in the wrestling world, or one fall. Whoever gets pinned first. Swing and a ground ball to the shortstop. Scooped up by the shortstop. Throws across to first base for out number one. One out. Robin steps to the plate. Ball low. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a miss, foul tip into the face of the catcher. That always makes you a little stronger. Yeah, right there. One ball, one strike. Could you imagine what it would be like back in the days of Yogi Bear when the mask was just, <laughs> it was an awful piece of metal. Ball high, up in the eyes. That is true. That's true. I, I probably should turn Uncle Jerry on because he's, he's making some good points. Ball high. 
That, he says that's the reason why you want to catch it. When you got no good gear on, you're just going to take it right in the face. You might want to get the glove up there. Three balls, one strike on Robbins. Strike called. Good pitch right there. That's all right. Three balls, two strikes. We'll find it. If not, it's okay. I'm about due for another one. It's only about 10 years. Oh, strike three. Good pitch right there for out number two. Time called by the dad. I always like these dad combos, kind of like um, the Leonard family. That was Mr. Woodrich and young Woodrich taking a time, pulling him out. <laughs> Wrong guy. I told you, you got to have the nerd. He's 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 coming. He had to go get he had to go get cords because we're at like fifteen percent. We're going to take a break. He's going to take batting gloves out of his back pocket. We're going to have the young Bartle kid's going to step onto the bump, and he's going to be the pitcher. It's a long walk back to the parking lot, and we're running out of juice, so Brock had to run to go get a cord. I got some, we got some questions. All right, yeah, you, you probably got some time. <laughs> All right, there you go. Just set up the chair right there. Yeah, that's good. We're just going to stay live right here. Live at the ballpark. All right, we're back and live right here. Nooksack Valley Middle School. Young Bartle on the bump. High pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. No balls, one strike. Swing and a nice pitch right there. No balls, two strikes. They had a question about how you change pitchers on the uh, game changer. <laughs> okay, good. Ball inside. One ball, two strikes. Two strikes on the batter. Young Mudcat kid that was struck out, drew a line in the sand. <laughs> Fans were yelling for them to be tossed out. Umpire does not toss him, which was a, probably a good call. Learning, learning opportunity. You don't draw a line in the sand, young fellas, when you have the opportunity. There we go. That's the, that is the end of the top of the fifth inning. No runs. On one hit, no errors, no runners left on base. I'll be right back. Bottom of the five coming.
Welcome back to Nooksack Middle School. We're having ourselves a nice little laugh here. The fellas are rolling around on the grass out there for the Mudcats. Kind of remind us of Little League T-ball. Out, Yeah, good thing they're not in Tennessee. They'd be getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, and Poe would be getting on that, picking daisies and playing in the dirt. It's okay. I don't know if she's watching or not. I sent her a message to let her know that we were going to be on Aunt Poe. She can watch it later, her and the fellas. Yeah, Connie could be. Swing and a miss, strike one on Lucas Woodrich. He likes that high pitch. But the problem is everybody likes that high pitch. It looks so good. Yeah, it's above your hand. It's out of your zone. Oop, catcher takes in the side of the head because he turns his head. One ball, one strike. Coach has got to ask if he's all right because it took him the side of the melon. Hard hit ball, left field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Nice job by... Going to go to second. He's going to go to third. Great move right there. <laughs> What do you get? Taylor, Taylor James steps to the dish. Would you? Oh, yeah, that's a triple. <laughs> Taylor James, Woodruff stands on third. Ball high. One ball, no strikes. Ball high, two balls, no strikes. Ball gets by out here, I can guarantee you that Lu Lucas Woodridge is going to take a gamble and see how far he can push this catcher. Oh, that, that's what happens. Yeah, here he comes. He's safe. Almost like my crystal ball was working there for a second. <laughs> Ball in the dirt for ball three. Gets by the catcher. Lucas Woodridge comes from third to home. Three balls, no strikes. Yeah, you got to be. Got to be Got to be aggressive. Do they got a nickname or anything? Yeah. Ball high. That was way high. Taylor, James. I'm sure it's probably something to do with fireworks. Is it? Is it really? Oh, look, I see that now. Man, I got to pay attention. Time called by the manager to go out and talk to the. Well, they got a sponsor, man. We need, don't be calling them that. <laughs> JCCT's a sponsor. <laughs> Gosh, right when I get ready to. <sighs> I can't call them that. I can. It's a, it's a YouTube channel. I've listened to a lot of weird stuff on YouTube, so. Yeah, yeah, we probably don't want to do that, Jared. I hate to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, get kids suspend, get banned, or whatever. Seven to three, Nook Sack. Time is back, ready to be, ready to go. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say that. All right, runner at first base brings to the plate A.J. Woodrich. Taylor gets back. Reminds me of Big Red getting back there in the day. He's only off about a step and a half. First baseman's not even covering him. We're going to see if this young pitcher box again. Nope, stays solid. Hard hit ball. That's, that's going to fall for a base hit. Taylor gets there. Nice job. Base hit. Base hit by A.J. Brings the plate. Josh Ellsbury's coming up. Ellsbury. El Ellsbury. Ellsbury. There we go. Not Barry. Bree. There we go. No berries. Not yet. Ball low in the dirt. Ah, not, not. Yeah, well, you got to watch the guy in front. You got to watch that 
base runner <laughs> that's in front of you because if he's not going, and there's no place for you to go. And A.J. was ready to go. But James wasn't ready to go. Ball in the dirt. He's going this time. He's ready. They get throw down to third, and he's safe at third. Good backup by the shortstop to keep the ball in the infield, or Taylor would have probably scored. That moves the runner over. Two balls. Two balls and no strikes called by the umpire. Josh right here, little bingo, is going to score two runs because A.J. is going to be coming. Throw over to third. Taylor gets back. There is going to be some laundry to be done tonight to clean these bad boys. <laughs> I really seriously think that I need to get a, get a sponsor that is a gain. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> gain. Gain, gain, gain's gonna be our sponsor, Brock said. You gotta get that. Did you? Popped up. That could be trouble. That sun is tough. Oh, good catch by the right fielder. No tag at third. Jake Vimittendorf. Puh. Puh. Mickendorf. Jake's ready. Swing and a miss. No foul ball. Catcher didn't catch it. Went to the backstop. High for ball. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Oh, but hit back to the pitcher. Throws to first for out number coming home. Safe. He danced around it. He danced around it. The catcher saw him coming. Took his eye off the ball. Makes it eight to three with two outs. He, Taylor did a little shuffle right there at the end to dance around that baseball and the catcher to step on the home plate area for safe. Caleb, Caleb Ridgebaugh. Hey, no balls, one strike on Caleb. Woodridge at second base. Nice job by Taylor. Strike two. Good swing right there. Rich Boz. No balls, two strikes on him. Woodridge stands in second. Strike three. Called. But not before the old Nooksack guys grabbed. Two more runs on two hits. There was no Mudcat errors, and there was one runner left on base. After five complete, after five complete, it's Nooksack eight, the Mudcats three. I'll be right back.
Welcome back to Nooksack Valley Middle School, the home of the 13U boys Nooksack Valley baseball team. A lot of talk being talked from the dugout over there in the first base side. And we're ready to go. Bartle's pitch is a strike. Nice pitch right there. No balls, one strike. Pitch high for a ball. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Popped up. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes, ball inside. Top, top of the sixth inning, eight to three. Luke's got a chance to come, come in with a save here for Nooksack. Outside for a ball. Three balls, two strikes. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We appreciate it. We appreciate you watching on the repeat. Anytime you want it, it's right there, accessible to you. It's right there on the MMB Broadcasting YouTube channel. Popped up into center field. Center fielder backs up three steps. Makes a catch for out number one. Good play by Josh out there in center field for out number one. Stick around. We're probably going to try to do game number two. As long as we got enough charge in our bat, we got enough get up and go. Sunshine's up. Ball. Yeah, you can. Out in the west, you can see the cloud cover coming. It's kind of moving a little quicker than it was at the beginning of the game. It's clear to the east. Swing and a miss for a strike. Oh, right down, right down Main Street there. One ball, two strikes on Sunshine. So we'll cut the broadcast. We'll go charge our equipment. So you'll have to come back to us. So you can't just keep it on and keep it rolling. We will come back before the game, the second game today, which is supposed to start at one o'clock. Little ground ball down the third base line. Touch it. He touches it. Foul. Good job by Cal. I think the next was supposed to start at one o'clock. We're not we're nobody important. We're just here trying to trying to put piece it together. <laughs> one ball, two strikes. Bartle throws. Ooh, behind him. It got him. It got sunshine in the leg. Base runner hit by a pitch, puts him on the first base. Yeah, he was ahead. Brings to the top of the order Peterson. And this young guy's got to couple hits today done a good job at the plate pretty pretty good yeah very speedy ball outside sunshine trying to get a fairly good lead over there brings on to the on deck circle the pitcher swing and a miss foul ball That ah, was nice, the on-deck guy to ask if the blue was okay. The kid gets punched in the face like that for fun. <laughs> one ball, one strike, one out. Ball, 
Gets away. There goes Sunshine. Long throw to second base. Whoa! They got him. Great throw right there for out number two. Two balls and one strike. He probably does have his fingernails painted because most umpires do. <laughs> uh, Uncle Jerry said the uh, umpire on the field must have his fingernails painted. It might be because he's a catcher in real life. Ball high, three balls, two strikes. Two down, top of the sixth inning. Bartle's throwing a gem. Him and Woodridge together have done a great job today on the bump. Swing and a miss, strike three. Catcher holds on to it, and that's an out, and that's the ball game. So for the Mudcats, no runs on no hits. One runner, no runners left on base. After five and a half, that's the ball game. Nooksack eight, Mudcats three. Thanks so much for joining us for a special edition of M&B Broadcasting. Broadcasting live from the cow pasture out here. And we love it. We'll be back for game number two around one o'clock. Thanks, everybody. Uncle Mike saying goodbye now. Yeah.